hello you beautiful people welcome to my youtube channel my name is tata cooks and on today's video we are making the creamiest um knuckle stew that you will ever make let's make this delicious stew we're going to need some knuckle of course a bit of some salt onion ground cumin lamb rub which has a lot of um you know ingredients in it rosemary garlic and stuff like that some mild curry black peppercorns a bit of oil for frying some um, cream garlic and vegetable or chicken stock and lastly we're going to need some tomato paste and some coriander to kick off things we're going to first start by seasoning our meat with some salt and pepper How much you put will totally depend on how you like it. Make sure that all your meat is seasoned evenly. Once I'm done here, I'm going to start with frying my meat. I'm going to put my stove on high heat and add my oil to the pan. Once it is heated, I'm going to add my meat to brown it. Each side is going to take about two to three minutes to brown accordingly if your um, stove is on high heat as mine. Once my meat has browned on both sides, I'm going to take it out and add the rest of the meat. Look at how golden it looks and because it's lamb, it's not going to take much further to finish cooking. I've now added the rest of my meat as you can see. Same process and then I'll be done. In the same pan, I'm now adding my crushed garlic and my onion. Please be aware of the fact that I didn't add more oil or anything i'm just using the same pan and the little bit of oil that was left over i'm going to fry until my onions become translucent as you can see on the screen then i'll be adding my mild curry followed by my lamb rub which is a favorite and then i'm going to stir everything together <laughs> oh i forgot and then i'll be adding my um brown cumin and then it's only now that i'll be stirring my things together your kitchen is going to smell like so so amazing once everything is mixed together i am adding my favorite um tomato paste to everything i know it looks a bit messy but trust the process <laughs> once everything is mixed I am now adding my chicken stock. As you can see, the chicken stock I used about a cup is thickening quickly in the pot. I guess um, it's now almost ready to welcome the meat back to the pot. <laughs> After about a minute or two, I am now adding back all of my meat, which is... Um, Quite a lot to be honest here it is i'm now mixed it, mixing i mean it up together i want to make sure that all the pieces are coated with this delicious um delicious sauce <laughs> i'm sure you're now aware that um, my sauce is not bubbling up as much as that at the time it is because i have I'm low what my stove it's now on low heat and now I've just added a bit of water just to be halfway you know covering the meat it does not cover it all the way but as you can see yes this is how it looks and I'm going to cook the meat in that low heat for about 50 minutes to an hour or until it has softened and yeah I think it will be cooked by then
this is after about um, 45 minutes cooking as you can see it already like looks good don't worry if you see that the sauce is about to run out it won't really the meat already has a lot of flavor in it as you can see this is now after an hour I've just added my chopped coriander which I chopped very like roughly and then I've just added my cream too this means that I am now done cooking <laughs> after a few minutes of adding the cream I just let the sauce like thicken even more for about two to three minutes and just like that I'm done just adding a bit of some pepper and just um, I can say a pinch of salt really because we don't need a lot as we've used um, some of those things when we started the process of cooking this meat would you just look at how delicious this um, lamb knuckle looks I am now done cooking it's really delicious guys I enjoyed mine with a plate of some hot and you know fluffy and succulent I don't know if I can say that but yeah <laughs> with my mashed potatoes and it was amazing my family asked me to make more of it <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching my video. I hope that you'll subscribe for more. Bye.